Hi, I'm Ashley Winters with A1Stoves.com. Today I will be showing you how to change a door gasket on a wood stove. First, you will need to gather the following tools and supplies. A sufficient length of door gasket, and you'll want to refer to your owner's manual to determine the correct size and length of gasket that your stove requires. Stove gasket cement. A damp cloth. A couple of paper towels. A scraping tool such as a screwdriver or a chisel. Scissors. A spray bottle of fresh clean water. Duct or masking tape a few pieces of scrap paper, and a large piece of cardboard to work on. It's also a good idea to have a pair of gloves handy to protect your hands. You might also consider having a glass gasket available in case you find your glass gasket needs replacing as well. Start by lifting the door off of its pins. Gently swing the door from side to side while applying pressure upward and hold the door securely as it lifts up off of its pins. Um, some doors, some stoves have removable pins, so if the pins do come out, take care not to lose them. Um, if your door does not come off, of its, if it's not a removable door, then you'll need to put a drop cloth down here and you'll need to go ahead and follow the rest of the instructions of changing your door gasket um, with the door in place. Let's take this outside to our work area. Now peel the old gasket out. And we're going to scrape the old gasket cement completely out of the gasket channel. Any buildup of the glue will cause the gasket to bulge and not to seal correctly. And be careful as you work not to harm the glass. After all the old cement is cleaned out, take a damp cloth and wipe out any excess dust and debris. Never use solvents or oils to clean this channel. A damp cloth is sufficient. At this point, you'll want to inspect the glass gasket. Look to see if the glass gasket is loose, if the glass moves, or if there's any black streaks on the inside of the glass caused by air getting in. And replace the gasket if it's needed. First, let's dry fit to make sure the gasket will fit properly. We're going to lay the gasket in the channel and secure it in a few places with some masking or duct tape. Um, we're going to start in the corner, the lower corner closest to the hinge. Put a couple pieces of tape on there just to secure it in place while we do our dry fit on the door. Okay, now let's place the door back on its pins and check for fit. put this new gasket on. It's going to be a little bit tight to begin with. It's a little bit fluffier than the old door gasket was. We're going to check to make sure that there's no leaks and that it's tight by putting a piece of paper in and pulling. That paper can't come out so we know that the gasket is nice and tight in those areas. Check all the edges of the gasket just to make sure. Looks like this gasket's good, so we'll go ahead and attach it with the cement. Let's take it back outside to our work area. Okay, you're going to want to squeeze and knead this stove gasket cement to help it get uh, workable, make it much easier to apply. It's rather stiff cement. First, we're going to do that and we're going to remove the gasket here. And we're going to take our damp cloth, 
We're going to go ahead and wipe in here. The gasket cement works a lot better if the surface is slightly moist. And get that surface wet and we're also going to take the spray bottle and we're just going to very gently mist the gasket just so it's a little bit moist for the seal. Now apply a bead, an even bead of this stove gasket cement along the entire channel, approximately a quarter of an inch thick. You're going to need to squeeze pretty good to get this stuff out. Okay, now lay in one end of the gasket, tucking in the fray just slightly in your lower hinged corner. And you're just going to push the gasket in as you're laying it. Push it in there good. And be sure to get it exactly as the dry fit. Okay, when you reach the seam, cut off any excess gasket and tuck in the fray. You can apply a small amount of stove gasket cement just to get that fray tucked in and secured. Now we're going to hang the door back on the stove and check for a fit. Now hang the back door back on the stove. Check for fit. You want to close it tight. And then you'll want to open it again, and you want to make sure that the gasket is still in place where you put it. If there's any excess glue that's come out, any gasket cement, wipe that up. You want to get that before it dries. So just give it a good wipe where the excess glue is. And after you've determined it's still in the right spot, and the gasket is on good, close it tight, let it dry, and you've just changed your wood stove door gasket. I hope that this video has been helpful for you, and you can always call or email us at a1stoves.com if you have questions.